Hey everybody, I'm Lee Moser. I'm an ex Agricultural Extension Associate with the Department of Biosystems and Ag Engineering here at the University of Kentucky. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about food waste and composting. Uh, food waste is an issue that we all deal with on a daily basis, whether we realize it or not. It's estimated that on average, annually, 40% of all edible food ends up as food waste. So there are many different ways that we can try to reduce this number. Uh, from donating still edible food to uh, feeding it to livestock. One of the different options that we're going to explore and that a lot of people are really uh, happy with is composting. So we are going to evaluate a composter design that we found and provide feedback and put together an extension publication on how you can do it yourself. So some of the features that you'll see on the composter include pressure treated lumber so that it's resistant to weather. We've also got some uh, casters that would be available at most hardware stores. Handles and latches that would also be available at most hardware stores. And then if you open it up, you can look inside and see what's going on. One component of the design is the aluminum reinforced frame around the opening. Another interesting component is the paddle that you'll see inside which will help stir the compost and provide aeration. Close this up and on the sides you can see air portals so that we can provide additional aeration to the compost. So once you get all the materials inside you can use these handles to rotate it and stir it on a regular basis and the design accommodates a wheelbarrow so that you can open up the composter dump finished compost and utilize the finished compost on your garden. So I've got some different things here we're going to start a batch of compost with. I've got a bucket of leaves which are really carbon rich. I'll go ahead and put those in. I'm going to put in some pine needles. And I brought some food waste to compost. These are just uh, bamboo compostable coffee filters and grounds and a banana peel from my breakfast this morning. And I plan on adding to it over the next two to three weeks from what I bring in to compost. So this is partially finished decomposed leaf compost. I'm gonna use it to inoculate this batch to provide beneficial bacteria and different insects to start breaking down the compost. So I'm gonna close it up, give it a couple spins, add to it over the next couple weeks, and then we'll check back in with a follow-up. So we're back today to do a follow-up shoot two months after starting to use the rotary tumbler composter. And I'm going to show off kind of what we've got going on inside right now and provide some feedback off of our observations. So we can go ahead and come in and take a look and show you. It's going really slow right now. The composting process has slowed down quite a bit due to the carbon to nitrogen ratio of what's inside. So what we would want to do at this point is try to up the amount of nitrogen in there. And we've actually just started mowing grass around here. So I'm going to add a good bit of grass clippings to try to boost the nitrogen in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple hands full of grass to go ahead and try to get this thing cooking over the next couple weeks. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to moisten up the mixture. And it should be ready to go. So we're back after about three to four months of use on the drum composter and I was going to share with you all the final product of uh, the compost that this unit has produced. So I'm going to throw on some gloves, reach here, in here and grab some out and show it to you on the lid of a bucket. We've really seen a substantial volume reduction in material and what we have now is a really nice compost product that you could use in your garden.
The take home from all this experimenting with the drum composter is that this is a relatively inexpensive, easy option for an individual to compost food waste at home and then come out with a really nice usable end product that's beneficial to both the environment by reducing food waste volume going into the landfill as well as allowing them to have a high quality soil amendment for use in their home garden. This is a design that was put together by the Family Handyman and we'd like to thank them for allowing us to experiment with their design and share it with all of you.